Next into the repair shop, a beautiful memento of a wartime adventure. Emily Ray is hoping antiques restoration expert Will Kirk Hello. 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 can breathe new life into another precious family heirloom. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you too. So, what have we got in the bubble wrap there? So, in here, this is my granddad's jewellery box that he bought in Italy just after Ooh. World War II. That is lovely. Let me take that. So my granddad was in the Royal Engineers in World War II okay. um, and he landed on D-Day Beach and all we know that he was in Italy in around 1947, still in the Royal Engineers right. and that's where he bought this box. How come you've got the box then? <laughs> <laughs> so my nan's had it up in the loft for the last 30, 40 years right. and my nan, bless her, she's been on about getting it repaired for years now. How did the box get into this condition? <laughs> so my mum was a bit mischievous when she was younger and okay. uh, her and her brother definitely had some fun with it. My gosh. Yeah. Oh, they really went to town. Yeah, they, they did, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One piece, <laughs> nearly two, three pieces here. And you're missing a piece there. Missing a piece there, OK. I think, so there's a little lock there. Have you got the key? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but at the moment, I mean, it's not really locking anything at the moment, is it? No. <laughs> So, what would you like Will to do to this, then? I've only ever seen it like this, so it would be really nice to sort of get it back to how it was when my granddad bought it. So we feel like it's, it's got a bit more life in it. So what type of man was your grandfather then? Ah, oh, he was amazing. He yeah. was a big family guy. He put everyone before himself. He was so generous and loving. We were like two peas in a pod. Used to follow him around. I was like his little shadow. And we used to do everything together. <laughs> he was my, he was basically my father as well, because I grew yeah. up in a single parent family. My childhood is just full of so many lovely, happy memories, thanks to him. That's nice. Yeah. So if we're able to repair this, yeah. what are you going to do with it after? I'm going to give it back to my nan to use as a jewellery box. All oh, right. It hasn't been used since the 1960s. So it'll be really nice for my nan to have somewhere to store, store her jewellery. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually um, it'll pass down to me and we'll keep it in the family. Okay. I've got some nice little jewellery bits, like my lockets. Like your locket? Yeah, okay. Yeah, my granddad bought this for me just before my 18th birthday. Oh. Um, he passed away just a few days before it. So I have a picture of him and my mum inside. Can we see it? Of course you can, yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, my mum passed away two years ago. Oh, did she? So, yeah, so it's just me and my nan now. You know. So, yeah, they nice. go with me wherever I go, so. That's nice. Emily, thank you no. for bringing us in. Thank okay. you very much. You take care now. I think the jewellery box has been something my nan's wanted repaired for years and years and years now. And I think, as my nan's getting older, I'll be excited to get it done for her and, you know, in honour of my granddad as well. I hope my nan thinks I'm, you know, granddaughter of the year after this. 